Hey everyone, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to align your verticals and your horizontals throughout all your real estate images in Photoshop. So if you haven't, let's say you didn't get them too well while you were at the shoot, you can easily fix them up in Photoshop and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so this is the image that we are going to work with. Notice how when we shoot straight on, we can we can go ahead and fix horizontals and obviously verticals. So for the first thing that we do is, um, so this is the after and this is the before. Notice how there's a big difference. You might not notice it like right away, but then once you're like, oh wow, yeah, like what a big difference. All right, so I'm going to, all my keyboard shortcuts are gonna show up at the bottom left corner here. So just in case you guys need to go ahead and see that, created this whole new layer here and I'm gonna start bringing out my verticals or my rulers and if you don't see your rulers here, we're gonna go over view and we're gonna go ahead and show rulers. And then that's gonna bring up our rulers here. I've already made a set of rulers, but all you would have to do is just pull some out and find an area or find a line like this one that is close to it. We don't wanna get on top of it, but notice how it's not vertical. It, it kind of slopes out to the right. So I went for this one. So notice I always try to bring it just a little bit out from it, not on top of it, but just a little bit out from it because you'll see why. And then this is the horizontal. So you can see it's off just like a little bit over here. And then I try to always do both sides. So I did this, I was gonna go for this line right here. And I, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go over to edit transform and skew. Make sure we click on the layer as well. And we're gonna start pulling our image away, just dragging out these corners right here. So notice how it's starting to get a lot more straight on this side. Okay, let's go for this side. Let's pull this bottom left corner out. Now see, at this point we can see that it's going to mess it up if we pull it all the way to match this line. So I just try to eye it as straight as possible until I think it is. We can, oh, this one, this one's starting to be straight, which is really good. This has, has messed up a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and then that's gonna go ahead and um, do that. So now what I can do is I can take my ruler and I can now inch it over to make it a little bit more precise. So now I need to know that I gotta come over just a little bit. This one's pretty good. Let's move this ruler over just a tad. Okay, I think I need some, some here. Let's move this ruler up just Oh, look, it's starting to do just good. Maybe just a little bit up. Okay, let's go back and do it again. Transform, skew. And for this one, we're gonna pull out the left just a tad. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to see straight. It's starting to get much more straight. Let's do this one on this side as well. And I think that's good enough. I don't wanna mess with it anymore, but yeah. So, and then we're gonna do this one. Maybe I can come down, but I don't want to pull it down because then I'm going to have to crop out my image. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to mess with my rulers again just so that I can easily see. Okay, great. Go back. Skew. And I'm going to take my top right corner and I'm going to pull it up ever so slightly and just like that. That fixed that. This is good. This is good. This um, just a little bit more out. Ah, perfect. This might have done a little bit but I think that's still good enough it's just a very very it's close to perfect which is really good so now we can see the difference that we've have made tremendously by just doing that all right guys I hope you have a better understanding of how to fix your verticals and horizontals for real estate images all within Photoshop if you like this video please give it a like if you have any other questions or any video ideas please comment below and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time take care